With more than 800 million active broadband connections in India, most of our life today is decided by a smartphone. Our relationships with our family members, work colleagues, or even between us and the government. And a lot of it actually alters the power relationships. What this means is that your rights become very important. And it is here that the Internet Freedom Foundation is an independent non-profit which advocates for it. This work is the mission of the Internet Freedom Foundation, where we aim to protect and advance the constitutional rights of all Indians. But we cannot do this without your support, the support of our community. We are an independent non-profit organization which advocates for your rights across three verticals litigation, policy, and civic literacy. We go beyond the courtroom, engage with parliamentary processes, and foster citizen engagement to make a tangible impact. Over the past few years, our work has created large social impact. For instance, our interventions resulted in making the COVID portal more accessible and privacy-focused during the COVID-19 pandemic. Initially, the portal was exclusionary as it did not allow for multilingual support, only allowed one person to register through one mobile phone number and it did not have a privacy policy. We consistently highlighted the instances of how people were being forced to link Aadhaar with their voter ID. We filed RTI request regarding this and received response from the Election Commission of India confirming that this process is voluntary. We also secured the first stay order against an ongoing internet shutdown in India which restored the internet in eight districts of West Bengal. Approximately 25 million people live in those districts. To address the dire situation of press freedom in India, IFF has also instituted a legal clinic to provide pro bono assistance to journalists. So far, nearly 100 journalists have reached out to this clinic. IFF has provided advice to nearly 70 of them and direct legal representation in courts to nearly 15 of them. Further, we successfully challenged the continued use of Section 66A of the IT Act even after it had been held as unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. Our efforts eventually led to the closure of at least 1,500 cases filed under it. We've also persuaded the government to lift bans such as the one on the website of VLC Media Player. All of these efforts to protect free speech, privacy and net neutrality have been possible due to the support of our community, which also thrives on social media. Through our posts, we leverage online trends and pop culture elements to make complex issues more relatable. Let's hear it from the audience itself on how they've engaged with IFF and why they support us. Yes, massive fan, followed since forever. <laughs> of course, uh, you are doing great work. I've been following Internet Freedom Foundation's work for a while now. Internet shutdowns, massive, suppressing freedom of speech, what the IT rules are doing, all of it, huge. A VLC media player, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a big deal to all of us. <laughs> Issues around data privacy, internet shutdowns. You've also, the organization has been behind very important litigation work when it comes to internet shutdowns. So I was actually covering Calcutta High Court before and because of some government examination, the state government had imposed a, a district-wise internet shutdown, which was subsequently challenged by Internet Freedom Foundation, the Calcutta High Court. It was actually one of the earlier stays granted by the High Court, a very prominent order that came through. I think that's what's great about IFF is that because of the kind of people who run it and how connected you are to what's actually going on, on in the internet, the kind of work that you do, which is really from all sorts, right? So you're not just doing litigation, you're doing RTRs, you're doing reports. So really uh, trying different modes of uh, getting the word out there and getting things to change, it's, it's amazing. This seems like a lot of work, right? But all of it is supported by you by more than 4,000 people who have donated to IFF, ordinary individual Indians. Please go to internetfreedom.in slash donate to make your donation. And you can also sign up and donate much more regularly to us by becoming an IFF member. Thank you so much.